scripture, it's God, it's the Word of God. It is the message that He wanted to pass on to us so that we would know Him, so that we could um, have a relationship with Him, so that we could bring Him glory and that others would know Him. I love it in Hebrews that it says that the Word is, is uh, has power to sustain, and I think that's what it does. Regardless of what I'm going through, or um, it, it sustains me. You know, and even those times where you're going, man, you know, I'm digging in, and I'm still, I don't have direction. I don't know where God wants me. I don't know where I'm supposed to be. Uh, you can dig real deep <laughs> and find stories that are identical to yours, stories of struggle, stories of redemption, stories of, of love um, and justice. So I think it's so beautiful because it, it is that light and the light will illuminate many things. You can read from Genesis to Revelation and you just know he pursues uniquely and intimately and differently for each individual there. And I love how he meets with each person in the Bible. And then even though that was in that times, it conveys so importantly and relevantly into our current generations and society and all aspects. You see scripture everywhere at IBC. It's one of the first things I noticed uh, when, I, when my wife and I decided to come here. I think that valuing scripture means really depending on the Word of God and everything that you do. It's actually spending time in the Word. It is looking to scripture for answers. I think the biggest way scripture is seen here at IBC um, is through uh, the use of the church calendar. The ancient church calendar and the seasons that that tell the story of God from Advent to Epiphany to Lent to Easter to Pentecost. All of that is the story of Scripture, and all of that is our place in the story of Scripture. And so I love that IBC adopts that and, and that I could be a part of Scripture in that way. Throughout the Bible, we see the story of each of these values and each of the things that we do at IBC is rooted in, in the Scripture and in the truth of God. To me, the really place where it comes alive is when we start acting upon that. When I mean, Jesus talks you know, in Matthew 28 about the least of these and, and identifying himself with the least of these and empowering us and encouraging us to, um, to, to see them as him and to minister to them. And so when we leave here and actually apply what we've learned and when we can take theology and, and scripture and actually break it in pieces where it can change how we live, that's when I think it really comes to life.